This is our new turbo sawmill that we just bought three months ago. I've put it together and cut a bit of wood with it. The timber I'm cutting today is tallow wood, Australian hardwood, and uh, it's very, very hard. The engine on this mill is a Honda uh, GX690, 28 horsepower, <coughs> and it seems to handle the wood quite well. Just go over some of the features of the saw. The, this handle you can see with the aluminium pipe going to the other end, it slides the carriage sideways, saves you having to go down the other end every time you want to move the carriage sideways. It does it from both, it does both ends from one end. Quite a good feature and um, quite easy to use. This up here, uh, they used to have, I think, a like a boat type winch on them and now they've got these little gearboxes I've got this one hooked to a drill on this end just a cheap drill that winds it up and down quite well this end's still got a gearbox but it's just got the handle that's supplied in the kit when you buy it works quite well but uh, the drills a lot faster and easier but I'm a bit too miserable to buy two drills at the moment This little gadget here is the um, lock for the carriage. Stops it moving when you don't want to, like when you get to the end of a cut, you've got to lock the saw off while you move a bit of timber or whatever. This is the tilting mechanism for the blade. The boss is working it. And back down again, please. Quite simple. Works well, locks well. Doesn't move. All seems to work very well. idea of putting that bit of a line down with the saw and I shouldn't have cut that way but because it was such a light cut I get away with it. Cutting that way the saw is actually climbing and it's really a no-no. Um, shouldn't do it but uh, because it was such a light cut. Now what I've deliberately done is shown you uh, up the other end the saw is cutting too deep for where the log's situated, so what I'm going to do is adjust that up uh, and I'll show you now. So as you can see where the cut is, it's cutting reasonably in the middle of the log, like the, the actual beam's parallel, is parallel to the um, log, but the problem is uh, it's cutting too deep this end by about an inch, so what I'll do is I'll raise this end an inch
these little logs, it's really doubtful if they're worth cutting up. I mean, the time you take the crap off the outside and the heart out of the centre, there's not much in them, but having said that, I've got them and I do need some TV ones, so I thought, oh, well, I'll get rid of them. They're bloody near more work than they're worth, but anyway, as you can see, it demonstrates the soil good and it is really hard wood, so you can sort of see um, how the soil goes. One of the other problems with these little logs is that you can't really get up the saw too much. You wind up pushing the logs around. I mean, you can oh, you can probably dog them down with better dogs and push the saw a bit harder, but, you know, I mean, with a heavier log, you can sort of lay into it a bit and you're not going to... Um, you're not going to move the log, but I have had it where I've been a bit ambitious and uh, probably not at that stage, but a little bit less weight in the log and I've actually pushed the log sideways or or uh, endways, so I'm pretty cautious now not to push too hard. <laughs> 